Hello and welcome, this is Greg French. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to start a new series. Uh, it's going to be networking. Uh, a little bit about myself. I've been teaching uh, networking, uh, computer repair for about 10 years, uh, both with the ROP here in Southern California and also some private colleges. Uh, some of my background, uh, some of my certifications, I have the A+, Network+, Plus, also certified Cisco, and certified as a Cisco instructor. Uh, CompTIA is uh, one of the more recognized uh, certifications, uh, one you should consider, uh, especially if you want to get a job in this area. I also want to draw your attention to ComputerNetworkTraining.net. Uh, this is a website uh, that you might also find some additional resources and some information. Uh, let's get started. Uh, Computer Networks, uh, Chapter 1, Part 1. This is going to be kind of an introduction, and we're going to, there's going to be three parts to this introduction. Uh, some of the objectives, uh, we're going to learn the advantages of computer networks. Uh, what are the advantages of a network over just a peer-to-peer -peer network? Peer-to-peer -peer where we just have two or more computers connected together without a server. We'll learn the elements uh, common to a client-server network, and we're going to discuss client-server networks in depth. Uh, more objectives, we're going to learn several specific uses uh, for a network. We'll learn some of the certifications that are available for networking professionals. Uh, learn about the soft skills uh, that will help you to succeed in, as a network professional. These are extremely important. We need soft skills to be able to survive out there. This is a customer-oriented business, and we need to be able to get along uh, with the customer and treat them with respect, and uh, they'll call you back. Uh, networks, computers, uh, and devices that are connected by some type of media. Uh, normally, we use a copper cable, a CAT5 cable, CAT6 cable. Uh, wireless is very popular now. Wireless is not as secure as uh, a cable. Uh, we're also going to talk about fiber optics as another type of media. Uh, two computers, up to thousands of computers can be connected across uh, a very large network, and an example of that is the Internet. Uh, networks may link to mainframe computers, desktop computers, printers, plotters, fax machines, and phone systems. We can have a lot of different devices connected to our network. These would be shared resources. Uh, networks manage and administer resources on multiple computers from a single location. This is real important about the client server. We have a server where we're able to control the access, and also we can manage everything that is uh, in this network. Networks allow multiple users to share devices and resources, such as printers, faxes, uh, programs and files. Types of networks, peer-to-peer uh, -peer and client-server. Peer-to-peer uh, would not have a server, yet the computers can communicate with each other and share resources. Client-server network is a network that gives us access, uh, control access to all the different resources. We'll talk more about that. Peer-to-peer -peer networks, this is a simple uh, to configure. Uh, less expensive to set up. All we need is a couple of computers and a hub or a switch. Uh, suitable for some environments, but uh, it's not very flexible. We can't really share a lot of resources across it, and we can't control the access, so there's no security. Uh, example of a peer-to-peer. -peer. Here we have got three computers. They're connected to a switch. Switch is connected to the router, and then the router is connected uh, to the uh, Internet. The cloud would represent the Internet. Client-server networks. Uh, servers control, again, network access and all the resources that can be found on the network. Computers on a client-server network act as clients. These would be the desktops. There's a server that will run uh, some kind of a network operating system. Could be a Windows uh, server. Could be Novell. Uh, could even be Unix. Now, the difference between a client-server network it looks pretty much like the peer-to-peer -peer that we had earlier, but now one of these computers will be set up as a server, and then that server will provide access to the other computers, both to uh, getting on the network and getting access to maybe Internet services, print services, or other files or programs. Client-server advantages. Uh, we get to log in. Uh, we have a user ID and password before we're able to access the resources. This gives us a lot of control. Uh, control access to shared resources. Network problems can be tracked, diagnosed, and often fixed from a single location. Uh, very nice uh, for the administrator to be able to do that from a single computer. It saves them a lot of time. Uh, LANs. 
LANs, MANs, and WANs. Now, the LAN is our local area network. Uh, this would be local to a, uh, an office or a small business uh, where we have several computers connected together using a server. And they usually have uh, internet services, mail services, uh, applications, and file services. Now, a MAN, a metropolitan area network, might be in a city, and it might be connecting several buildings together in a small city. Here you'd have offices maybe scattered across the city, and they're all interconnected. This would be what we call a metropolitan area network, a little larger in uh, geographics. Now, the wide area network, the wide area network would be like the Internet. Uh, it's scattered over a very large geographic area, and that's what really distinguishes the WAN. Also, the WAN uses different types of technologies for connection. When you connect your computer through a modem, either DSL, dial-up, or whatever, that becomes a WAN device because that technology is different. It's not Ethernet that connects us to the to the Internet. It's some kind of a serial connection or DSL or some other type of uh, technology that allows us to go great distances. Uh, summary. Uh, network. Group of computers and devices. These devices are connected in order to control access and to share resources. Networks offer advantages. We have peer-to-peer. -peer. Now, peer-to-peer, -peer, the only advantages you have there is you're able to share resources between the computers. One computer might have a printer, and that could be shared with other, other uh, computers. Uh, Client-server uh, networks have central administration. Very important for the client-server. We do have a central control and a central administration. Activity. Uh, I want you to do uh, the Network Lab uh, 1.1. This will, again, reinforce some of the things we just covered. And then there's a quiz that I want you to take as for part of an assessment. That's it for this uh, first part. Uh, thank you very much for your time.